Uh, my name is Michael Schell. I am the stage director for uh, this production of The Barber of Seville. Virginia Opera has been a part of my, I guess, upbringing as an artist, I would say. Um, I started here as a, an assistant director and uh, assisted on quite a few shows and actually sang here too. I was a singer before I sort of made the transition into being a director full time. And they gave me one of the first shows that I had to direct, so. This production of Barbara is, I think, I can safely say, totally unique. Um, one of the things that we used for inspiration uh, to make it fun, zany, and match the craziness of the story and of the music is uh, use Pedro Almodovar, the Spanish filmmaker, as inspiration, especially his film, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, which was his breakout film in the 80s. And so we've used that, his, uh, his approach to some of the characters in his films, as well as the color, the tone, and the embracing of the random things that happen in life uh, to uh, make this world a zany, fun, crazy place. The show itself is a pretty small show. There are a handful of principles, and then there's a chorus of about uh, 18, 16 to 18. Um, but because of what I've done with the production, we've added this whole troupe of supers. There are about 12 extras that I've put in the show to help create the random uh, things that happen and have Figaro, our, our main, you know, MC, as, as it were, or master of ceremonies, he uh, uses them to make things happen, to change the scenery, to help uh, in specific scenes with characters. So they're kind of floating in and out, and every time they come in, they're like dancing around, throwing confetti, and so the show has kind of grown exponentially. And also our set, as opposed to the traditional Barber Seville production, which sort of has an exterior and an interior, we've given it another look uh, as well. So uh, it moves very fast, it's very fast paced, which uh, requires a lot of work on timing and making sure that all of the elements are coming on, going off in a timely fashion, but also have, uh, because they're all done with the audience being able to see it, they have to be done creatively and part of the storytelling. And I think that's what makes this production really unique because everything that happens on stage is part of the storytelling. I think for me, one of the biggest challenges of doing this show, even though I've done it now, the production itself, uh, three times prior to doing it here, the, one of the biggest challenges is to step back and start from fresh. I know things, uh, I know that things uh, work a certain way technically, but I want these performers, this great cast that I have here, to be able to make these roles their own. So I don't want to plug them into something that I say, okay, well, this is how we did it last time. I want, like, Will Liverman, who is our Figaro, is fantastic. He's got such an interesting energy and so wonderful and sings incredibly well. I want him to bring himself into the role knowing my ideas about what I see in Figaro, but allowing him the space to grow in it himself. You know, Barbara Seville has sort of embedded itself in our subconscious as a culture, and people may not know it, but they have heard these tunes in commercials, in, in movies, but most specifically, my favorite is the uh, Rabbit of Seville. Bugs Money. I mean, the overture and some of the tunes, uh, especially Figaro's big aria in Act One, everybody's gonna recognize that as soon as they hear it. So th these, the music is so fun and so, uh, and, and, and 
it's something that we all are familiar with, it makes it a really great evening um, because while you may not have heard every single piece in the opera, it sucks you in with tunes that you know, and then you just kind of are exposed to these really wonderful melodies all night long. Um, the other thing about the show, and I think our production uh, specifically, is that my upbringing uh, and the things that I watched as a kid, um, all these great sitcoms from the past, you know, um, as well as things that I've seen currently. You know, one of my favorite shows is Arrested Development and uh, other shows like, um, you know, The Office. And these shows that sort of random things happen and we, uh, we laugh at them because we relate to them, but also because they're just ridiculous sometimes. That's stuff that I have pulled into my production. And that's something that I think is going to make the first time opera goer go, wow, I didn't know that opera was like this, it was like what I watch on TV. And I think they'll really enjoy that. I think they're just gonna have a great time ha watching this crazy zany world on stage. And also because it's so close, you're right there. The people are right there. You're experiencing it in, in such a way that you don't get that same connection when you're watching TV. So I think it's a great opera for first timers, as well as, if I may say so, my production specifically, so. Mm -hmm. 